okay so the next thing what we want to do is we are done with registering the aws account and we created a linux machine in the aws account and in my case the machine is located uh, somewhere in mumbai i wouldn't know where but it doesn't really matter where it is i can log into that machine and that is the next step i'm going to log in to that machine remotely from my laptop so I'm using a MacBook and in your case it could be a MacBook or a Linux PC or a Windows PC. It doesn't really matter what operating system do you use in your laptop. All these machines, all your laptop have the ability to remotely log into the Linux machine that I have just created. So I will talk about that. So assume this is your laptop. It can be a Windows PC or it could be a macbook or it could be a linux desktop operating system it does not really matter what is the kind of laptop you are using what you have just done is you have created a machine inside your aws account and this machine is running linux operating system and you know that the machine has a public ip and in my case the public ip is something you have already seen over here this is the public ip in my case in your case it could be a different ip so what matters is there is a public ip for aws machines when you create it for the first time by default it gets a public ip and yes you can connect to that machine using this public ip and you can even log into that machine and yes if you want to log into the machine you should definitely provide a username right to any machine in the world you want to log in you should provide a username right so by default when you create a machine in aws which which is running ubuntu 20.4 operating system there would be a default user that get created inside the remote machine the username is ubuntu so your plan is from your laptop it does not really matter what operating system do you use from your laptop you want to log into the machine who has this ip address and it has a username of ubuntu as which you want to log into this machine right and in order to log into the machine you need some kind of authentication like a password or some kind of authentication you need if you want to log into the machine right so that is where that key plays into picture remember when we created the aws machine we downloaded a key file something called coit.pem in my case in your case whatever name that you provided at the time of creating the linux machine in the cloud in your second step right so this file is like a password this is called a private key and we are not getting into the key concept uh, this uh, the, uh, today but um, you know this is a kind of a credentials that ssh uses uh, the remote login uses if you want to log in from your laptop to the remote aws machine so i'm going to show you if you are using a macbook uh, things are pretty easy you know you can just go ahead and open the macbook terminal there's an application called macbook terminal let me show you that so there is a, a terminal application you can search uh, for terminal and you would find an application called terminal in macbook you can open that application and you would see a command line something like this and first thing why, what i will do is i will go to the folder downloads from the command line by running this command cd downloads which would take me to a folder within my macbook where i downloaded the coit.pem file and you have to execute this one time command against the pem file that you downloaded so the coit.pem this is the file which i have just downloaded from my aws account uh, to my macbook and I run this command inside my macbook terminal this command is meant for securing this file don't worry about this command much this is a one-time command that you need to create run on your macbook to secure the file inside your macbook and the next command you have to execute is ssh minus i then the name of the file what you have inside your macbook and make sure that when you you are in the right folder right uh, that's the reason i went inside the downloads folder because this file i downloaded into the downloads folder within my macbook so you should make sure that you use this option and then followed by the username ubuntu at the rate the ip address of the machine i already have created the machine in my aws account and the ip address is this so all i need to do is execute this command from my macbook terminal and what this command will do is 
it will just connect to this machine using this IP address right so let me draw that up what exactly the command will do what the command does is I have the AWS machine and this has uh, a public IP of 3.109 and 209 so inside my MacBook this is my laptop where I first I went into the downloads folder that is where I kept my coid.pem file and then I am executing this command ssh i coid.pem then the username as which I want to log into the remote machine and followed by the IP address of the machine so this is the command you will run in your MacBook terminal to log into the machine that is located somewhere in the cloud right it doesn't really matter where this machine is located so just execute this command and let's see what happens and first time when you try to log in you will get this warning are you sure you want to continue connecting I give yes and that's it now you have successfully logged into the remote Linux machine and next we will see if you are using a Windows PC how you can log into the remote Linux machine that's what we will see next and the same steps if you are using a Linux operating system or Linux desktop operating system on your laptop then the same steps will work for you whatever I have just shown on the MacBook but if you are using Windows then you need some extra tool to be installed on Windows so that's what we will see next if you are using a Windows PC how you will log into the remote Linux machine from your Windows PC so let's take a look